Your Excellency Dr. Rajesh Ranjan, High Commissioner of India to Botswana, distinguished dignitaries, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. I'm honored to join you this morning for the fourth International Day of Yoga, once again successfully hosted by the Indian High Commissioner. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, yoga is now recognized by the United Nations as one of the healthy uh, lifestyle choices that foster complete well-being in its long-term global health uh, objective, the United Nations General Assembly declared June 21st as the International Day of Yoga. The maiden International Day of Yoga was observed on, the, uh, on June 21st, 2015. Since then, yoga is commemorated annually worldwide on or around the 21st of June. The benefits of practicing yoga are that it connects the mind, body, and soul, and therefore rendering it a truly holistic approach to health and well-being. Yoga enthusiasts or yogis, as they are known, are able to enjoy proper breathing arising from practicing yoga, thereby giving rise to flexibility, strength, and vitality in the body, while at the same time calming the mind, mental faculties, and reducing stress. Yoga promotes basic postures of the body known as asanas, which are more than just stretching, as in other physical exercises. Along with breathing, these asanas open the energy channels of all chakras, i.e. psychic uh, centers of the human body, while increasing flexibility of the spine promoting one's com concentration, positive thinking, me meditation, strengthening bones, and stimulating the circulatory and immune systems. Your Excellency, our National Vision 2036, under the pillar of health and wellness, is an aspiration to attain um, human and social development for our nation. This is further supported by our commitment as a country towards achieving sustainable development goals, uh, goal number three of good health and well-being. I'm therefore grateful to the Indian High Commission for cultivating yoga amongst our citizens. This is what the Africa Agenda 2063 espouses, peace and harmony for a peaceful and secure Africa. I would like to thank the government of India and the Indian mission in Habroni for creating awareness about uh, yoga to all Botswana. I'm aware of the responsible role that India played in the decision by the uh, UN General Assembly to declare the International Day of Yoga. I call upon the society at large to participate in yoga in order to attain greater and notable health uh, benefits from it. <laughs> 